Shalom, all praises go to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha'sham, Yahweh Shai, double honors unto the apostles and great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Now, I wanted to do a quick video about this word, Cappadocia, right? Um, which is mentioned in in the book of, um, where was it again? In the book of Acts chapter 2, oops, no, wait a minute, right, it says Acts chapter 2 and 9, right, it says, um, there were Jews found, uh, there were Jews, uh, first five, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, devout men out of every nation in the heaven, and for, uh, if you read the first nine, it says it all, in Parsha, there were dwelling Jews, out of every nation under heaven, which is Iran. The Medes are Japhetic people. And then we're going to get to that in a minute. Japhetic people. You have Elam, which are the East Indian. And these two intermingled with each other. Because you had the Medio Persian Empire, right? Med Medes and the Persian Empire. These are the Medes and these are the Elamites. Persians. So this this is the this the, this is the Mede, uh, media Persian Empire, right? Now in um, Mesopotamia is Iraq, Judea we all know where that is, and Cappadocia, right? So I checked out the word Cappadocia in the in the Bible Compact Dictionary. It says Cappadocia, province in east part of Asia Minor. It's people were Aryans, okay, so uh, uh, the first thing that came to mind is Edomites, but then I came, then I started thinking, like, no, they can't be, because these devils, they always take the names of the lands which they conquered, and if you check out the word Rome, Rome, Romulus, Romulus, and Remus, those are two Javetic boys that got sucked, suckled by an, um, how you call it? I think a she wolf, right? This most likely might might have been them. They was dark skinned, brown skin. Let me some put it down like that. They was brown skin, okay? They was Javetic people. And they, they, this is this bogus. So um, just to read here real quick. Mm. Well, actually, no, I have to read over there. It says, um, okay, so the word Aryan, right? I checked it out, and now there might be Yahoo answers, but I'm, I'm going to get to it. Just bear with me with a little bit, or bear with me for a little bit. Now it says, is the Aryan, is the Aryan word found anywhere in the Bible? I checked it out, and it, and it doesn't, it doesn't say in, in, uh, in the Bible. But this is the best answer. Aryans are the f uh, whatever this bullshit. Here, here it goes. Aryan is a term that Hitler and his people stole from an Asian tribe. Well, actually, actually from a Javetic people. But they look Asian because Indo-European. I'm gonna get to that. But they're Indo-European. Those look. You, I have a map right here, and this map shows you now red is Shem, right? Ham is purple, and green is Japheth. Now, Japhetic people are also known, uh, you see this word over here, Yafan? Those are uh, from the Yafa, the Yafa people. They call themselves Yafana, right? They basically, I think it's Indonesia or something in the English. Or, um, but yeah, Yafa people, right, from Jafan. Which the the whole name it it already spells Jafet, so that that's what we know because we have these monkeys in Suriname too. But um, going on, um, yeah, the green is where Jafet used to rule, right? But Jafet, which are of the Medes, used to rule also with Elam in the Medio Persian Empire. Right. But reading on, 
Aryans are believed to be the yeah whatever. The origins of the Aryans are believed to be in India. Okay, that's true too because I already checked it out too. Those Aryans are actually a so-called mix of uh, Japheth and Elam. Okay, check this out. Through many scholars, still the um, though many scholars still debate whether the Aryan civilization actually exists. Okay, Arya is in Sanskrit word meaning noble now i checked that word out sanskrit right now here are the sanskrit people or sanskrit it says official language in india language family indo-european those are the japhetic people and these are the um, the, the, the the elamites which are the so-called east indians the coolies and these are them uh, you know Indo type people. Now it says here Sankrit is by Wiki at Wikipedia. Sankrit. Sanskrit. Okay. It's primarily a sacred language of Hinduism. A philosophical lang philosophical or whatever language <laughs> in Buddhism. Hinduism. Buddhism. That that's those um, those Asians. Okay. That's those Indo Europeans. Okay. Um, Hinduism, because these East Indians also follow Buddha, and Jainism, and the literal language, and the literally language, that was in use, that was in use as a lingua franca in Greater India. It is a standard, standardized dialect of old indo iran uh, um aryan so yeah originating from Verd uh, vedic sanskrit and tracing its lineage or lineistic ancestry back to proto indo iranian now if you know that this word means uh, comes from the persian and the Indo is Asian. So that basically goes back to the, what the scripture says is um, the Medio and the Persian Empire. And you had Israelites in the midst of those because it says it right here. You had Israelites right over there in Asia and in Cappadocia. So going on over here, where was I? Um, hey. Where was I? Oh, yeah, here. Ancestry back to Proto in uh, Proto Indo Iranian and Proto Indo European. Now the Indo European is a hundred percent Japheth, as I showed you in this picture right over here. The Indo European, because Japheth was all up in the green area, which you see right now. You have his sons like uh, Gomer, Togarma, Ashkenaz. By the way, is one of his sons. And uh, yeah, all these names over here, so uh, which is mentioned in the book of uh, Genesis, chapter ten, and I'm gonna get to that. Okay. Okay. Now we have that out of the way. It says today it is listed as one of the 22 scheduled languages in India, and it's an official language of the state of Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. San Sanskrit holds a prominent position in Indo-European studies. Okay, so take that away. Or oh, oh, not away, just put that. Okay, so you, when I put this in the g Google, and then I click on that, I get these type of people, right? And uh, as you can see, you can see Asian female over here. It says uh, Chinese Sanskrit singer celebrate double whatever double plat, but the thing is, what I'm trying to show you is, you're gonna have Israelites that come from this region, which is Asia, and if you go down because you see an Asian woman, but if you click right here, you see East Indians, 
and if you click here you can see them as you can see uh, you can see you also see the so-called uh, Moabites but they could have they could be the ancestry could go back to you know Japheth and um and 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 in in Elam but as you if you scroll down more you're going to see more Elam 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 everywhere which are the Persians so I'm going to go on now it says another important thing to read is also wait let me just go on the people who founded the uh, espoused the ancient Vedic religion mm -hmm. a cornerstone of a Hindu of the Hindu religion or philosophy as referred as uh, as referred to as Aryans although the term itself does not refer to any specific race Bra Brahm Brahmin Hindus claim to be Aryans as their genetic point to these ancient people directly and also because they still practice the same religion however Persians and Afghanistans which are Elam also refer themselves as Aryan despite having different religions completely because they identify themselves as coming from the same people who were buzzing around the area between Ganges and um, Indus. The notion of a nomadic warrior Aryan race killing everyone in their path like some kind of prehistoric version of Genghis Khan has pretty much been proven to be absolutely false. So this is why the so-called white race calls themselves Aryan because they, they want to steal another nation's name because the real Aryans are actually uh, a mix of Javedic and uh, Jaf Jafet and Elam as in the medio persian empire Medes and the persians now it says the colon the colonial european genetics uh, that is max muller simply invented these theories out of thin air to justify british colon colonism dr muller himself retracted these theories before he died and yet some of the sheeple still believe in him it makes me think about uh, how you call that guy again Darwin because they said on his deathbed he retracted his theories also so it makes me think about that him so here it says another answer the Aryans are found in Maha what Mahab Harata Mahab Harata so I click that on Google and as you can see you can see East Indian people man Mahatara whatever that thing is you can see the East Indian people so okay cool another indication that the uh, Aryans are East Indians right and then uh, going on the Aryans were the East Indians who settled in the Indus which is Indo come from the word Indo which are Japhetic people Valley which is Pakistan uh, where 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 um, where the Japhetic people were because all this over here Asia was from Japhet okay but now Elam is in that land because you got to remember they work together in the medio Persian Empire Medes and the Persians the dark skinned Shemitic people yeah they are dark skinned the East Indians are dark skinned Hitler got the idea from the Vedic history and made it to be some sort of racist plot when it was speaking about the history of an ancient culture when it was speaking about okay all i can say is that hitler did not know what the heck he was talking about the word aryan was a shemitic people modern pakistanis not some german or europeans i laugh at all the white supremacists with their Nazi symbol when the symbol has nothing to do with segregation sad how much uneducated people are there are in what sad how much uneducated people are in the world now I check that swastikas thing out and it is true because they do have it you see they say this one is evil and this one is not because this one is from the 
the Buddha swastika and this is the Nazi swastika or whatever how they call it okay so I'm done with that and then how about this too and here you have the in uh, sun Sanskrit people in India so check them out too right and then you have uh, yeah, I already clicked this one then you have this little thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read from here to here hope it's not too long so it says the family of Japheth the great majority of those who read this chapter will belong within the Indo-European family nations mm -hmm. of whom it can be shown whom it can be shown that the father was Japheth see they know the Indo-Europeans which I just showed you uh, where is it here Japhetic, Japhetic people, as you can as you can see here, green is Japheth, right? And here, uh, this is one of the countries that I always use to claim to show you that they still call themselves Japhetic people until this day because they call themselves Yafana in the English. But actually, uh, if you want to Jaf Jafan, that's in the English, I think Jafan, which is another term for Japheth. Jafat and Jaf, Jafan and Yafat, you know, if you say it in the Dutch, it sounds like that. So going on, Indo-European families of, na of, the, of nations of whom it can be shown that the father was Japheth. Uh, now I've got this over here, which is Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. The sons of Japheth, Gomer and Magog, Medea and Japhan and Tubal and Meshech and Tirus and the sons of Gomer Ashkenaz which the so-called white Jews stole this name also they're not Ashkenaz they're actually Elam e Edomites and Elam uh, no uh, Amalekites Edomite Amalekite they're Amalekite Edomites okay Edomite Amalekites and Riphath and Togarma and the sons of Japhan as you can see, until this day, they call themselves Jafan. Jafan people, look, it's the same word. Jafan, excuse me, Jafan. And this is the son, the sons of Jafan. They still call themselves, until this day in 2015, they call themselves Jafan people. So they're the ones that are Japheth. But if you look at them, hey, what the fuck? If you look at them, it says, uh, if you look at them, they look Asian. These are the Japhanic, J Jaffa people. I put it Dutch, but um, uh, I could put English. Jaffa. Uh, doesn't it doesn't well yeah the, the, these yeah these 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 they look in, they like Indonesian people okay look at them here too they look like Indonesian but if I put yeah look at it here too you see they look like Asians but but uh, you see J Yafansa Japanese oh Jafans oh Japanese oh that's how you put it in English see uh, this is this is them this is it they look they look they look they look Asian too but uh, they're actually Japhetic people you know that movie Umbak that movie Umbak right Umbak Umbak, yeah, that's it. These are Japhetic people, if I'm correct, because they came from that same area. They're Japhet. These people. They always have them big ass ears. <laughs> They're funny as hell, man. But anyway, going on. Um, where was I? Okay, okay. 
it going on where it says so yeah Jafetic. It is our intention, therefore, let me speed it up, therefore, to, to spend more time tracing the descendants of Japhet than that of Ham and Shem, partly because, as a result of labor by, other in the, by others in the past, we have considerable more information about this particular line, and partially because what, we, what uh, can be said about Hamites and Shemites, I gotta slow it down, actually, because it's almost getting interesting. Again, Hamites and Shemites is not only less in quantity, but has perhaps less intrinsic interest for us, for most of us, because this is actually written for Indo Indo Europeans, okay, for these for these uh, these people, Jafanic people, you know, Jafana. I don't even know how you say it in English, but uh, it's Jafan Jafan. But uh, in the Dutch, it's um, Yafana. Uh, look at him here. D this is a Yafan. This, I mean, this is a Yafan pe person. And this too. These are Jaf Jafetic people. They look Asian, but they're not. Well, they are Asian because they're in a region. You know what I mean. But they, they look Chinese. They look Korean too, but let me just go on. But, but they're Jafetic people. Now, nevertheless, there are certain portions of the Hamitic line, which are the Africans, so-called Africans, which we shall study a little more closely because they contributed light upon the issue of rather this table of nations of the Bible, which I just read, the table of nations, which is subtitled the table of nations. The table of nations is truly comprehensive or merely selective in passing all mankind or only a representation what a representative a representative portion Japhet. and i'm gonna read until here right it says uh, to begin with it is well known that Japhet's name has been preserved in both branches of the aryan family the reason why it says both because you have these people calling uh, some of them calling themselves Aryans. You know these people. They look they look they look straight up like Chinese, but but they're actually prettier than Chinese. I find them uh, better looking than Chinese people because they're dark and their head is not really that well weird flat. You know uh, of their females. <laughs> Okay, there's some, there's some pretty uh, Asian chicks too. I don't have to. I don't give a fuck about none of you motherfuckers, actually. But anyway, go. Some of them are Israelites. That's the point of this whole video. Okay, some of these people are Israelites. Um, so yeah, I'm going on. So yeah, going on. Uh, let me just shake. I'm sure. Anyway, these are Japhetic people. Okay. And they're different. They have um, more color to them. Yeah, so. It's just going on. Um, yeah. Both uh, branches of the Aryan family, right? Which very early split into two major divisions and settled in Europe, which is Japhet, and India, which is um, Elam. But they intermingled with each other, right? The Greeks which is Japhet also, for example, trace themselves back to Japhetus, a name which without doubt is the same as Japhet, of course, and significantly, according to Skinner, has no meaning in the Greek. It does have a meaning, however, in Hebrew. Yeah, because I checked that out, and in Hebrew, the word Japhet, right? Uh, no, 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 that's the wrong word. It says here, okay, Japhet. Right, the third son of Noah, whose descendant after the flood settled on the coastal lands of the Mediterranean, spreading north into Europe and parts of Asia. So they know that Japhet was in Europe and parts of Asia, as I as I showed you in this illustration, which is here is Europe, and here is Asia. Right, so going on. Now it says Ya Pa. Yapath, right? Yapath, Yapath, right? 
and then uh, it says opened and then I looked in the Ben Yahudi and the word beautiful is actually yapa yapa right yapa so it ends with this and that's the word fair and beautiful but I can remember back in the days uh, I think it was the elder of course it was the elder apostle but I think it was the elder apostle Tahar who said that Japhet means beautiful well I'll get to that because uh, I checked it up in the Ben Yahudi I have it right here in front of me and that's where I get the word uh, this this word 100 percent this word is what it says in the Ben Yahudi which says beautiful but this doesn't say Japhet as in one of the sons of Noah because this is Japhet as in one of the sons of Noah and it's Japath and the other one is Japa but let me just go on I'm gonna show you something okay in the Hebrew okay okay in Aristophanes the clouds this word um, Iapetos which is Japheth Iapetos you can hear it a bit Iapetos 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 it, it sounds similar it's the same word because I'm gonna read on Iapetos is referred to one um, to as one of the titans of the father of Atlas okay they're going into some um, so-called Greek mythology but it's not it's not from the Edomites it's not from the so-called white people it's actually their uh, beliefs he was considered by the Greeks not merely as their own ancestor but the father of the human race which is bullshit according to the well uh, 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 the father of their on um race or whatever according to their just like example i think that's what they mean i hope i think that what they mean just like uh, how the ham might say well ham is the father of their nation you know but i don't think that's what they mean because they said the human race which is full of doo-doo according to their tradition quadrinus and gaia now i remember gaia from the cartoon what's the cartoon's name again Planet of the Planet of I wanted to say Planet of the Oh Apes I wanted to say Planet of the Apes but that's not it. Captain uh, Planet Gaia. Uh, yeah, I remember this bitch. <laughs> I thought it was a so-called black woman, by the way. Yeah, you see, in the cartoon she's a dark-skinned woman. In the cartoon. She's dark skin, but when but but um, I think they later on changed her into a white bitch. But uh, she's a dark skinned woman in the cartoon. That's what I remember because I I saw that I knew that I knew that because I saw I seen the cartoon man. I was a kid, a child actually, a, 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 little, a little boy you know. But I'm um, going on. So that's talking about it says that is. What's his name again? Arenas. Our anus. Goddamn, what a name. And Gaia. That is heaven and earth. Because Gaia was seen as the earth. Even the so-called Native Americans, the Gadites, they also re re reference Gaia, which is Mother Earth, according to them. Which they got from most likely these... these nah. Look, I don't know where they got it from. But let me, let me just go on had six sons and six daughters but of this family only one Eapet, um, Eapetos, Eapetos, by name had a human pro progeny he married Clemen, Clymene a daughter of uh, Okeanos Okeanos <laughs> Okeanos who bear him Prometheus now the word pro, now de, now I know why they made the movie Prometheus because he's some well I think he's some kind of some kind of savior or something. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, here it is. Now if you check out this movie Prometheus, it shows you that actually they go to this planet, and these people are the people that created the human race. 
right? And the, and they're so-called white people. They're pale as fuck, man. I'm telling you. They look like they're dead. But, uh, yeah, actually, I only saw one. Which is this guy over here. But they want to make it seem as if these peop- these aliens are actually the creators of the whole real human race. Which is bullshit. Another Greek mythology. But actually, the Greeks are dark-skinned people, which are Japhetic people, which are people like this and this. They almost look Asian, but they almost don't because you don't really you you see dark skin Asians, but they're just different, man. These people they they different in in appearance. When you look at them, you can see that because this this is a handsome this is a pretty woman, man. Yeah, nice concubine, you know. But anyway, uh, going on, where was I over here? Yeah, who bore Prometheus and. Um, three other sons, Prometheus beget um, Deucalion, who is, in effect, the Noah of the Greeks, right? And Deucalion beget Helen, who was the reputed father of the Hellenists or Greeks. The, the word Hellenist comes to mind in the scriptures, but I don't think it has nothing to do with that. But going on, if we proceed a little further... We find that Helen himself had a grandson named Eon. Now the word Eon is also in the Greek, which means age or time, universe. And in Homer's poetry, the rank and file of the Greeks were known as Ionians. Ionians, Ionians. I'm going to just read until here. Meanwhile, the Indian branch, which is Elam, this one is... uh, uh, these, these people, right? As you can see, it, it, this is basically a scriptures, man. This is basically the merging of the, um, the Medes and the, uh, and the and and uh, what the hell, the Persians, okay? Because they intermingled with themselves. So, for example, just for example. She could be an Elamite. Her forefather could go back to Elam. But nowadays they had uh, it's like an Elamite man. Had uh, sex with a with an, with an um, a Japhetic Asian looking woman. Right? And then they had children and going on, going on. And now those sons go live in Asia. And they have Asian wives. And then they look like this. No, this just an example. This is this is Elam to I mean Japhet uh, too, Japhetic people. The, 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 this is a Japhetic person too. From from um, these are Japhetic people, yeah. You know this one too. They look like Chinese people, but but a little bit different. You know, plus they dark they're more dark skin. These Japhetic people are more dark skin than these uh, Chinese. Although you do have a, a dark Chinese too, but not, not I have not seen Chinese this dark in that um, large of a number. Because I have seen dark uh, Chinese people, but not in a large number, you know. I see them randomly. You know, but uh, where was I? Yeah. yeah, so it says, Meanwhile, the Indian branch of this Aryan family also traced themselves back to the, to the same man. In the Indian account of the flood, 30, Noah is known as Sa, Sat, Ya, Udata, Satya Udata, who had three sons, the eldest of whom was named I, Iapeti, which is Japhet. <laughs> but they say that their eldest is named Japhet. Basically, they say Japhet was the firstborn. Just like in the, in the, in the Quran, they say... Um, uh, Ishmael was the f- was the one to get um, how you call it sacrificed instead of Isaac. So the first one was Iafeti, Iapeti, which is Ia- Jafeti, as you could see Ia- Jafeti. The other two were called Shamra, which is Shem Sham, and uh, Karma, Karma. 
which which might have uh, started the whole thing about karma, you know, bad karma, because even in their so-called uh, uh, history, karma is cursed. I'm going to read it on. It says, um, the other two were called Sharma and Karma of Karma. Shem and Ham, question mark. To the first, he allotted all the regions north of the Himalayas, which is um, around here. I don't know where the Himalayas is, but he said north. So <laughs> I think it's here. I have to go look it up, actually, but... Please do, please do yourself, because uh, I'm, I'm, it's going to take too much time. So it says, um, And to Shem, Shamara, which is Sham, he gave the country to the south, which is most likely this. Here, the orange, I mean the yellow type, uh, the orange color thing here. The orange area, uh, area region. So, but he cursed karma, or k k karma. I'm going to just say karma. Because when the old monarch, monarch, um, a monarch was accidentally embraided, embraided with strong liquor, it wasn't accidentally, man. Made from uh, fermented rice, karma had laughed at them. I have not, I don't know if the, I have not read this ever. But anyway, karma had laughed at them. He, hum, ham, had laughed, uh, hum had laughed at the nakedness of uh, his father Noah. That's why he got uh, cursed. But anyway, he looked upon his father's nakedness and he laughed at him because he was drunk. Two further brief observations may be point at this time. The first is that the Greeks recollect, uh, re recollected three brothers. For Homo uh, Homer makes Neptune say, there are three of us brothers, brothers, all sons of Kronos, which is another Greek so-called god, and Rhea, Zeus, myself, and Hades, mm, the king of the dead, which are all Greek mythologies. Each of us was given dominion when the world was divided into three parts. So they're trying to actually mix this uh, Greek mythology god nonsense with the fact of uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay. Uh, where was I? The second is that in primitive Aryan speech, the title Dashap, uh, I mean, Ja Patishata, Ja Patishata, means chief of the race, a title which looks especially like a corruption of the original form of the name Japheth and it is true because it does look like if you take these words Ja Jap right and then you take th these or Japa you take this Japa Hatha so it looks suspiciously like it and, w and most likely it is apart from these new uh, apart from these few notices we know little else about Japheth except that in Hebrew his name probably means fair see that's what I wanted to come in the end to it because as I said I looked up the word where, where is it here yeah I looked up the word uh, yapa, yapa and it says fair beautiful and handsome and I looked up the word Japheth itself, Yafath, Yapath, and it says open. But I do remember that the elder apostle Tahar said that, uh, that was long ago, man. He said that Esau is not beautiful, and the word Japheth means beautiful. Well, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. But yeah. But uh, going on. So yeah, they even they say that Japheth means uh, in the Hebrew it means uh, fair, which fair is another word for beautiful or handsome. 
It's like uh, Genesis chapter 6, and the sons of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, saw that this, this, the daughters of Ben were fair. So it basically means beautiful. Uh, so this is the last sentence. But of this, of it, uh, but of his sons, we know much more. They are given in Genesis chapter 10, Genesis 10, as Gomer, Me, uh, Magog, Madai, Yafan, Tubal, Meshech, and Ty, Tyrus. If this one spells wrong, well, according to here, of course. Where is it? Oh no. <laughs> Like that, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, that's it. So there you have it. Um, you you have those those are these people uh, in Cappadocia, province in the east part of Asia Minor. Its people were Aryans, and oh yeah, I'm not done yet. And um, as you can see here, Acts chapter two and nine. They were found in, uh, so Israelites dwelling at uh, Jerusalem, devout men out of every nation under heaven. It was, it was speaking the tongues of Parsians, came coming out of Parsian, means da -da -da -da, all these things over here. And, um, so lucky actually. And, and Cappadocia, which I just went into a little bit. And, um, okay, Genesis chapter 10. Okay, not that one. But what I wanted to have is Ezra chapter 9. And this is also in uh, 1 Ezra, I think. Chapter 9 too. I think. I, f I forgot. Since the days of our fathers have... Be Since the days of our fathers have we been in a great trespass unto this day. And for our iniquities have we, our kings and our priests been delivered into the hand of the kings of the land slavery to the sword death to captivity slavery and to a spoil we, we got robbed and to confusion of face as it is this day because we used to have sex and children with these other nations so that's why i pulled this up and showed you like you know, Cappadonia, Cappadocia, in, in the book of Acts chapter 2 and 9, it refers to these people. These people. And then, um, these people. It could, uh, they could be Aryan, whatever. You know, these people. Well, this is, you know, could be, but then, um, I'll just click on these guys right now. Okay, uh, you know, um, East Indians, okay, so, uh, going on. So yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, Indo-European. Okay, then you have this. Yeah, like people like this because if you look at her, she looks like a Asian person, and she too because she got they got those uh, so-called uh, eyes, right? But if you look at them, they look like East Indians, and this is a whole family, which goes to show you that they might have come from uh, you know they got the blood ancestry from the Medes, which are the Japhetic people and they got the ancestry from the Persians which are the Elamite people but they are all one family because this is their family their family I got it from this side ethnic distribution okay this is, this is a whole family grandmother sister mother whatever and um, yeah Southern Indian, Northern Indian. It's just like basically Sicilia and Northern Italy, for an example. So yeah, I, I think I think that's it, man. And, um, I think that was it. Maybe I have something else to say. Mesopotamia. Yeah, no, no, no. Mesopotamia.
Mesopotamia is in ancient Iraq, which is also mentioned in the book of Acts. Okay, Daniel's chapter, because in the book of Esther, chapter 9 and 7, it says uh, confusion of faces, right? Daniel chapters 9 and 7 also speaks about confusion of faces. O Lord, righteousness belongeth unto thee, but unto us confusion of faces. Because we're intermingling with these other races. As at this day, to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and unto all Israel that are near and that are far off, throughout all the countries where thou hast driven them, because of their trespass, because of their trespass, that they have trespassed against thee. O Lord, to us belongeth confusion of face, to our kings, to our princes, and to our fathers, because we have sinned against thee. So to look like a other nation is is a trespass on the on, on to the heavenly Father, and He basically cursed you. He sinned you. He, he make He make you look like that because of your sins. You wanted to have sex, maybe like. Let's say just 50, 55 generations, maybe 100 generations ago, you like to have sex with uh, Edomite chicks. Okay. <laughs> You're going to look like one. <laughs> you like to have sex with, uh, you know, Elam or, or, or Moab or Ishmael. Well, you going to look like one. You know? <laughs> you know, but uh, the Most High going to pick us out of the, uh, as it says right here, Isaiah 11 and 11. And it shall come to pass um, in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Patros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. Um, Assyrian, which is, which is, well, I don't, I don't actually really 100%, because they're all messed up right about now, but I do know, uh, Egypt, uh, I'll get to that, maybe your brother should ask uh, one of the elder apostles, but, um, Mizraim, which are the so-called African, Patros, I forgot, but I can look it up, Kush, because, uh, I, 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 I can find that, Kush are the... The Suma no, the uh, Ethiopians and uh, the regions of Somalia, they're there too. Elam are the East Indians, them so called coolies. Shinar, I could look it up too. Hamath are the so called Africans. So, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the uh, out outcasts of Israel. Because if you're in these countries or you look like them, you're basically an outcast. Okay. And gathered together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Now this word dispersed is uh, diaspora. In the in the in the Well, this is Hebrew by the way because this is the Old Testament, but it means does uh, it goes back to the word diaspora in the New Testament, diaspora. So I think that's it with that. And um, let me just scroll a little bit. Bear with me. Let me see if uh, I, I, I covered everything that I, all the tablets. Oh, shh, man, it's good that I didn't finish it off. Check this out. The amazing Bible timeline with world history, right? It says this. Persia. Persia, a branch of Aryan, were mentioned in the Bible, right? Now it says this. Persia. Is a branch of Aryan stock listed in the biblical timeline around 1454 BC and at a later point ruled by King Cyrus, which is in the first uh, Ezra and also in the book of Ezra. As mentioned in the book of Jeremiah, okay, there too. The king ruled the land with much wisdom and he served the people as a great king should. In Ezra 1, Verse 1 until 3, it was stated that Cyrus ordered the Most High Yahweh's people 
to build a temple for their Lord. It's just the Lord, but for their Lord. Indeed, he was among the greatest rulers in the history of Persia. Okay, pop, 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 pop. It's just it just goes into the history, the glory of Persia. The Persians were noted to be Aryans. So they're the real Aryans. So when it speaks about this, Cappadocia uh, were Aryans. Then when it talks about this over here in the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 9, where it says uh, they, they, um, they came from Cappadocia. Those were Israelites looking like East Indians, most likely, which are calling them, which was calling themselves Aryans. What was that? Yeah. 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 There were two lines that came forth from Tispas, who was the early leader of Persia. Tispas gained control of Elam during the downfall of the Assyrian Empire, and he had lines in Persia and Anzan. Anzan. The king of Anzan at that time was Cyrus II, and he united the people after conquering Babylonia, Lydia, and Media. Those are the Medes, which is mentioned right here. No. Genesis chapter 10. Verse 3. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I just had it a couple of seconds ago. I lost it. Oh, yeah. Genesis 10 and 2. And Madiah. Madiah. So, and, um, where was I again? Here. Is this... Uh, Media. Well, spelled it kind of different, but going on. And the other hand, on the other hand, Cambyses, the son of Cyrus II, controlled Egypt. During that period, Egypt was under rule of Jarius, who was the son of Hetaspes. And Darius and his uh, several successors uh, considered as Apollos as the ceremonial capital, which is one. Of Persia's ancient city, and the Assyrians, da, 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 da. I mean the Aryans, not, not the Assyrians. But yeah, there you have it, man. And uh, I went in the word, and hopefully I did it good. So uh, with that, I'm gonna say uh, all praises to the Most High Yahweh Bar Hashem And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Oh, wait a minute, last one. During the fifth period, fifth century BC, Darius. I formed the Aryan race upon declaring himself as a Persian. So yeah, there you have it, the Aryans. The Aryans, it says, based on history, wait a minute. In fact, Herodotus, Herodotus mentioned that the Iranian race, which are Elam, was often noted in history as Aryans. Based on history, the Aryans migrated from Iran and traveled to other parts of the world due to climatical events such as the end of the... That's bullshit. But anyway, um, the inhabitants who had Iran culture... Aryan, sorry. I said Iran, sorry. Um, and language decided to settle in Iran. Hmm, maybe that's why they call themselves Iran instead of Persia. Furthermore, the term Iran was derived from... Oh! I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that. Furthermore, the term Iran was derived from the word Aryan, which pertained to the, lands, uh, to the land of Aryans. Thus was the history of the migration of the Aryans and the possibility that these people originally came from a remote land upon arriving in Iran. They gave it a name and considered to make it as their new homeland. However, in historical accounts, Central Asia has often been labeled as the land of the Turans, Turkistans, Sakas, and Kivet. 
None of those words, though, were linked to the word Iran. Okay, what the hell was this? I'm not even going to try, man. Leave it. Um, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom. All praise go to the Most High. Yahweh, Baha, Shalom, Yahweh, And uh, Shalom.